Welcome back to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we are going back into nature's crotch and we are going to enjoy wild boar testicles. Where does one get wild boar testicles? Well, we got these from, again, our friends at Exotic Meat Market. There's different ways to eat testicles. Most people are familiar with bull testicles, which uh, are called Rocky Mountain oysters, prairie oysters, calf fries, even creadillas. Today, we're going to try a similar preparation. I might just kind of pan fry one of them or part of one of them just to see what that tastes like. But these are wild boar testicles. So my first venture into pig testicles. Let's take these out and kind of get a look at them and see what they look like. So here are the testicles. These have already had the membranes taken off of it, so that takes most of the work away for us. So we're gonna, we don't have to parch them or anything, just kind of slice them, bread them, batter them, fry them, cook them, whatever we're gonna do with them. And um, we're gonna have ourselves a ball, so let's get cooking. Okay, our testicles are done now. We have this nice plate of golden brown fried wild boar testicles. Basically what I did was I just kind of cut them into medallions, I did an egg wash with them, and then I rolled them in a mixture of breadcrumbs and cornmeal. It was a coarse ground cornmeal, which I, I think is gonna add some texture to it. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some ghost chili flakes. So I don't think it's gonna overpower it or anything. You can put whatever you want in there. You can try corn flakes for a different texture or rolled rice krispies, you know, whatever you want. I just chose to do it the way I did it. I mean, let's keep things in perspective. You're gonna put testicles in your mouth. So does it really matter? I'm gonna open one of these up, take a look at it. And they're nice, they're still nice and pink on the inside, so uh, we didn't overcook them. And uh, so what I did was, normally when these are served as Rocky Mountain oysters, they're served with ranch dressing that you can dip it in and everything. So I just decided with just plain sour cream and a jalapeno mango jelly. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there and just kind of uh, see how this tastes. And again, do it however way you want, but uh, that's how I chose to do it. So uh, I'm gonna try a piece without first. And they're really good. And again, I like the coarseness of the cornmeal. That has a nice texture to it. The flavor comes through, I don't know, it's somewhere between like pork chop and a Vienna sausage. Very light flavored, a little bit on the creamy side on the inside. Nice crusty shell on the outside. They're really good just by themselves. So let me try a little of this. So a little sour cream, a little mango jalapeno jelly. I'm starting to taste the ghost pepper flakes now. Nice little spice to it. Here we go. Oh, the sweetness has a whole different dimension to it. It's really nice with that. These came out really good. And again, you can do this with whatever kind of testicles you want. Bull testicles or wound testicles. But the pork ones, nice and light. This one came out really well. So kids, do try this at home. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my testicles. And, um, and we'll see you again soon. Hey, did you like that? I like doing it. And if you like that video, you're going to love this video right here. And this one too. You're going to really love that one. But don't click on this one. You're not going to like that one very much at all. If you did like it, be sure to click on my penis. And if you didn't like it, leave a comment down below. Oh, hell, leave a comment down below anyways. We love comments. And to subscribe, click on the trippy food sign right here. Anyways, we love having you. Hope to see you soon.